If an alien space probe, say an alien Voyager, wandered into our solar system, what would it look like? Assuming anybody's actually out there, and assuming they do send something our way, the first alien probe that reaches us will probably be a highly advanced model, not an early effort like our Voyagers. It's highly likely that we will end up classifying them as a new AP, or given recent history, assume it's an enemy spy balloon and try to shoot it down. But what about the advanced alien civilizations who allegedly intercepted our voyagers? What would they have done to our humble space probes? Do they know? We know. They know. Many do believe that to be true. That one of our voyagers was hijacked in interstellar space, and that's the reason it started acting bizarre and sending back incomprehensible data. Orbit. Beyond the Blue. Long before Interstellar became the title for Nolan's movie, it was the home and reality of the Voyager spacecrafts that wander somewhere beyond the solar system's boundary, also known as the Heliosphere. The 40-something explorers that are investigating the interstellar cosmos outside our solar system have been weathering the problems that come from age and distance for some time now. But even on their final leg, as they get ready to power down, voyagers have proved that it's never too late for a good old Voyager mystery. The launch of NASA's iconic Voyager 1 and 2 probes, which are shared in an epoch in deep space exploration. Between them the two probes have traversed all four gas giants in our solar system. The idea for an Explorer spacecraft was conceived as a part of NASA's grand tour of the outer solar system that would visit all of the outer planets including the now dwarf planet Pluto. Two ships started what became the Grand Tour, when Pioneer 10 was sent to Jupiter and Pioneer 11 was sent to Jupiter and Saturn. The exorbitant costs of each of these unique spacecraft made NASA reconsider the Grand Tour. So instead, the space agency came up with Mariner Jupiter Saturn. This would later go on to become Voyager 1. As for the second installment of it, the Voyager 2, there's not any significant difference between the two spacecraft. Launching two instead of one was more of a risk mitigation strategy. If one failed, the other one still had hope. Remember, this was 45 years ago, and space research was still in its nascent stages. Here we are now, 45 years later, and both the Voyagers have not just been successful, but also lasted 10 times the warranty they had when starting out. That's two space probes with the memory of an 8-track tape, who have outdone what was expected of them by a high margin. The story of the Voyagers is one of underdogs rising to the occasion and emerging as winners. From giving us close-ups of the gas giants and their moons to passing through the heliosphere into interstellar space and becoming the farthest man-made objects in space from Earth. How can I not mention the ambitious yet or inspiring Carl Sagan curated golden record? And you dare not forget the pale blue dot, one of the most humbling images of Earth ever taken. With a work experience of 45 years, and an impressive portfolio of searches and history associated with them. The Voyagers are cultural and scientific legends. However, a while ago, the space probe started sending back signals. Not just their regular signals, but anomalous signals. Everyone knows that the Voyagers' missions were to travel where nothing from Earth has ever ventured before. Exploring our four gas giants Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and finally zooming out into interstellar space. Space is vast, and anything can happen. What's happening is that the probe is sending signals that don't reflect what's happening on board the probe. NASA was boggled about the possibilities. They couldn't classify it simply as a glitch. Or had the Voyager finally been intercepted by aliens, or future humans, or any other advanced civilizations? Prior to this mysterious occurrence, the Voyager was operating normally 
receiving and executing commands from Earth like a dutiful employee. So, what could have happened in the interim there that caused it to go rogue? NASA at the time said that these mysterious signals seemed to be an anomaly with the probe's AACS attitude articulation and control system since it started returning data that appeared to be randomly generated without reflecting what was actually happening on board the probe. Voyager 1 was sending back weird, gobbled telemetry data from its attitude articulation and control system, which is responsible for positioning the spacecraft and making sure its antenna is pointed in the right direction to communicate with Earth. However, the probe seemed to be operating normally, it's tough to diagnose and fix a problem when Voyager 1 is so far away, but the team figured it out. The AACS had started sending the telemetry data through an onboard computer known to have stopped working years ago, and the computer corrupted the information, NASA JPL said in a statement. The fix involved telling the AACS to switch back to the correct computer for sending data. While the solution sounds simple, the glitch hints at the possibility of a deeper problem. Engineers don't know why the glitch propped up in the first place, but they believe it's because of another computer sending a faulty command that could be the culprit. For the last decade, Voyager 1 has been cruising in interstellar space, beyond the reach of our Sun's magnetic field. This has offered the craft some protection from cosmic rays and other interstellar radiation, much as Earth's magnetic field offers some protection from high-energy particles and radiation from the Sun. Cosmic rays are known to interfere with electronics here on Earth when one of those high-speed energetic particles strikes a computer chip. It can cause small memory errors, which add up over time, and it's reasonable to expect that to be an issue for Voyager 1 onboard computers, too. Voyager project manager Suzanne Dodd said the team is cautiously optimistic, but will continue to investigate the issue. She also added that a mystery like this is sort of par for the course at this stage of the Voyager mission. The spacecraft are both almost 45 years old, which is far beyond what the mission planners anticipated. We're also in interstellar space, a high radiation environment that no spacecraft has flown in before. The rest of us will just have to wait and see what new perils encounter Voyager next on its travels, and what new discoveries await on its final leg of its decades-long mission. NASA estimates that the Voyagers are running out of power, which will lead to their eventual shutdown. Voyager 1 presently has only four operational instruments, whereas Voyager 2 has five. The Voyagers have enough electrical power and fuel to keep its current suite of science instruments on until at least 2025. And then, they will vanish into space, eternally wandering the galaxy, coasting along the path of least resistance, floating and blasting music. And who knows, they might even actually be intercepted by an alien civilization light years away. Beyond the Blue